Welcome back to Money Shorts. Don't forget to subscribe. We are talking about different ways to save. In Money Shorts 8, we spoke about investing in shares. Today, we are going to talk about investing in property. We are going to talk about the good things, the advantages, and the bad things, the disadvantages of investing money in a property. You can either buy an actual house or you could buy shares on the stock exchange that's in the property sector. We are going to focus on buying an actual property today. You will need to save quite a bit of money to buy a property. You can take out a loan at the bank, which is called a mortgage or a bond. And then you will be paying the bank for that property until it's paid off. In the meantime, your property will grow in value. So when you sell it someday, it will be worth more than what you bought it for, which means you make a profit and in that way you've grown your money. And once you've paid off your bond at the bank, the property will be in your name and you will get all the money if you sell it for the whole value of the property at the time. Another nice thing about a property is that you can rent it out, which means if you are not living in the house yourself, you can get someone to live in the house and pay you a rental income on a monthly basis for living in that property. The bad thing about that is that sometimes people don't pay or you might struggle to get somebody to rent the property. But yes, most of the times it's a nice way to one, grow your money in its value because the property value increases and two, earning an income on it at the same time by renting it out to someone else. The nice thing for investing in property is that it's a long-term investment which makes it a good idea to use it for retirement planning. And then once your bond's paid off, when you retire someday, you will have a house to live in. The bad thing about living in the property that you bought and not renting it out, therefore only value you have is the growth in the value of the property's price. The bad thing about that is that it takes a really long time to pay off that bond to the bank. On average, people take 10 to 20 years or even longer to pay off that bond. That means during that time, the profit you're making is not that big and you have to take out additional insurance to make sure that that bond is settled if something should happen to you. The other bad thing is that you are responsible to upkeep the property. So painting it, fixing leaking taps and all kinds of other things that can happen while you have a property is expensive and you have to pay all those expenses during the time that you live in that property. So that's the bad thing about renting, uh, living in a property, but when you rent it out, you're still responsible for those expenses. The person that's living in it is paying your rental income that will help. The other bad thing is that you can't eat property. So if someday when you retire, which means you stop working, you want to sell that property, you might not sell it immediately and you might have to paint it before you do so and pay estate agent fees and transfer costs and all kinds of other things to get the property sold. And once you have sold the property, then only will you have money to buy food. But if you're struggling to sell that property, you might run out of money and not have anything else to eat. That is why it's very important to make sure that you don't have all your eggs in one basket and the property is not your only investment. This brings us to the end of the section where we talk about how to save, different ways to save. Next time we will be discussing a different topic, so don't forget to subscribe to Money Shorts.